NCAA basketball totals for Monday, January 9th. And we are just cruising right along here with our NCAA picks. Let's continue to do so today. Not a lot of games uh, on the board today. Let pull up my stats. Um, so we're just going to look at two games today, specifically with uh, St. John's and Georgetown and uh, Quinnipiac and uh, St. Peter's. So let's go ahead and start breaking these down. But before we do that, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and uh, remind everybody out there that we do have our NBA segment out there uh, that we'll be doing live uh, two or three hours before the first tip of the NBA schedule. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. That that's, hasn't been going so great overall, but the NCAA hoops has been fine. Uh, as well, sbrpicks.com, a lot of free picks, uh, our website, sportsbook review, YouTube channel, Facebook uh, page. Be sure to check it all that all out. We have all the numbers, sign-up bonuses. Uh, it's just all there for you to check out and see where the lines move and uh, things like that at uh, sportsbook review. All right, let's uh, look at some NCAA basketball. First game we have up is uh, probably the best game of the day, arguably. You got St. John's and Georgetown. And uh, I like what Chris Mullen is trying to accomplish at St. John's. They're still pretty young, and they do need to play better defense. Oddsmakers have this total at 155 and a half, and that's huge, and I'll explain more why that is so huge. But I'm going to go in back over the total of 155 and a half between uh, St. John's and Georgetown. Before I continue, I want to remind everybody out there, especially for the new guys, I didn't say this at the beginning, and I always have to say this as a reminder. This is the segment where we look at uh, totals set by oddsmakers. We try to beat that total either going uh, over or under. Again, NCAA segments have been going pretty well. Uh, NBA segment, which we do the same thing, uh, not so hot right now but you know we'll get back on track all right i digress back to some picks here we go uh i'm gonna go over the total uh with uh, st john's and georgetown over the 155 and a half we got right now st john's is averaging 78.4 points per game they get up and down the floor georgetown surprisingly is getting up the floor getting up and down the floor this year 77.4 points per game that really hasn't been their dynamic over this past decade uh if you will uh right now they're you know they're still giving some points on the defensive side also 72.4 points a game allowed St. John's 73.9 points per game. So all this right here, it kind of looks to me just on first glance, just looking at the scoring offense and scoring defense, this total is too high, but it's not. Odds makers are on top of this one. And I'm going to tell you why. St. John's, I have stats back to uh, 98. So essentially about almost 20 years of statistics. Odds makers have never made a total between St. John's and Georgetown over 150. Let that sink in for a sec. It's at 155 and a half today. Something is not right with this matchup. Now they did last time they met, they went over like 155 and a half because they ended up a 92, uh, 67, uh, final last time they met up and odds are, that was, you know, that was last year. Odds are really readjusted the line, but again, they've never had a line over 150 as far as the totals are concerned since at least since 1998. So I'm going to go over this 155 and a half. That's the number play for me because that's a really interesting statistic by odds makers to throw this number out there. Shooting-wise, they're not bad across the board. St. John's are shooting 44% from the floor. More importantly, though, they're shooting 39.5% from distance, which is really solid. They're ranking the top 30 in that category. Georgetown, not bad at all. 46.4% overall. They're in the top 50 in a shooting efficiency. Uh, they're really close to the top 50 in effective field goal percentage. Uh, and they also shoot the three really well, 38.9%. Neither team defensively is that great statistically. You got St. John's. They've been pretty bad, actually. They're allowing opponents to shoot 36% from distance, 43.5% uh, overall. Georgetown, a little bit better, allowing opponents to shoot 41.3% and 33% uh, from distance. But again, this is just a numbers play for me. That 155.5 really looks too big, but I'm going to go ahead and take a shot on the over, thinking odds makers. You know, they didn't even set it at 152. They went right for 155.5. So I think something's up with this one. I think they're going to get up and down. So I'm going to go back over the total with St. John's and Georgetown. Emphatically over the total. This is my favorite play of the day. All right, next one up. That, sorry, the St. John's and Georgetown. That's my favorite play of the day. This one's not bad. I think this is pretty solid right here. Not really anything set by the odds makers here, but I, I like St. Peter's defense. So we've got Quinnipiac and uh, St. Peter's out of that uh, MAAC, the Metro Atlantic. And I'm going under the total of 133 and a half set by odds makers. Right now, uh, Quinnipiac is uh, averaging 75.5 points per game. St. Peter's, they're at home in this one. They're averaging just 64.4. And they play pretty good defense. Scoring defense, Quinnipiac gets up and down. They're allowing 80 points per game. But St. Peter's allowing just 64.9. So this is going to be really, um, you know, this is really the, the, what determined this play. Sorry. What determined this play for me was the fact that it's at St. Peter's. At St. Peter's. When we look at their past totals, they've really 
not gotten up and down. I mean, last time they met up, 56-55. Oddsmakers set their last totals, uh, you know, at a 124 and then 123 and then 123 and a half. And they went under all those games. So they've been under the last three times they've met. And unlike that Georgetown St. John's one where the line's off, I think the line's just about right at that 133 and a half, but I don't think they get there. Uh, you're looking at uh, two teams that don't shoot the ball particularly well with uh, Quinnipiac shooting um, just 42.6% overall and St. Peter's shooting under 40% overall, but they can play some defense. Uh, St. Peter's can. On the defensive side, you know, they're allowing opponents to shoot uh, 44%, which is not bad. But more importantly, they're allowing opponents to shoot just 32% from distance. And I always think that's important. If teams could defend the perimeter, I always find that me leaning to them holding the other team down to a decent number. Now, Quinnipiac loves to get up and down the, the floor. Uh, their attempts are really solid per game getting up 63. But St. Peter's doesn't allow a lot of tempo, just 52.6 attempts per game. So I'm going to go ahead and back the, the under in this matchup simply because of the fact it's at St. Peter's, okay? And uh, those are our two plays for the day. Let's go ahead and break them down one more time. Just two today. Uh, that happens sometimes where it's just not a big slate of games. I don't want to overextend myself if, you know, we want uh, quality over quantity. All right, we got St. John's Georgetown over the 155 and a half and a really interesting line set by odds makers and Quinnipiac St. Peter's under 133 and a half. Those are our two NCAA college basketball picks college basketball, NCAA basketball picks, because it is college. And uh, we also have our NBA segment that's going to be live, so be sure to check that out. And as always, share the videos, YouTube channel, Sportsbook Review. I wish you luck on all your picks today. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.